Congratulations, you have been awarded an orb, and you wield the power to rotate it. Let's assume the distance between orb and center of rotation is equal to 1. If I represent this diagonal vector with two vectors, both straight, one for the x and one for the y axis, we can create a little triangle. Observe the x pointing axis. It grows and shrinks to values between negative and positive 1, depending on the angle between orb and center. Same goes for the y axis. If you rotate your orb to every angle available and write down the length of both axes at every point you can get, you will get two peculiar diagrams sine from y and cosine from x. In Blender, on calculators and in programming in general you may find a sine or cosine function that calculates the same thing. The function says give me a value mortal and you say um 24 and the function replies not point four two four one seven nine zero zero seven three three and disappears into a cloud of logic without further elaboration. Now that seems kinda odd, but in reality, the function just told you on which x-coordinate your orb is right now if it would be rotated 24 degrees. Well, unless you talk about radians, which is a whole other story, which we'll conveniently ignore. Fuck you. The entire relationship is easier to explain if we split it up into two axes. I will count up some degrees and plug them into a sine function. I will move your orb on the y-axis without your consent. Now I will do the same thing for cosine with the x-axis. Lastly, let's move them both together. In Blender, I sometimes want to move something into some direction, but I only get this crusty old vector input most of the time. So if I want something to move three units into a specific direction, I now know how. Get a value, convert it to radians, that's what Blender wants you to do, trust me. Plug it into a sine and cosine math node, combine them into a vector, Multiply it by 3 and triple the radius. Wow, look at her go. That's trigonometry for you. I think. I don't know. Mainly I just need you to know how this works for a future tutorial. Have a nice evening and thanks to my lovely patrons. Mm -hmm.